defying death. Powerline saves skimpily clad woman from falling to her death. A woman in China was spotted dangling from a power line in her underwear after just barely escaping splatting all over the sidewalk from five stories up. Naturally, the Chinese internet is abuzz with wild speculation that this skimpily clad woman was a mistress trying not to get caught by the wife. I guess when you're that desperate, even the window ledge outside your lover's fifth floor apartment can seem like a good idea. Until you slip and fall. Luckily, Chinese cities have plenty of power lines, and the woman managed to get caught on one. Messy death averted. But she was left hanging on a line and quickly passed out from the shock. She's probably dying of embarrassment too, what with everything splattered all over the interwebs. But at least she's still alive. And you never know, she could have just been innocently thoroughly cleaning her windows in her underwear like you do. Cause it's China, where anything can happen. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. When it's not your time, it's not your time. Man catches baby dropped from Grenfell Tower. As Grenfell Tower burned in London, a woman trapped inside the building with a baby made a gut-wrenching choice to drop the child out of a window in a final effort to save the infant. And in this desperate moment, a brave man sprang into action and saved the baby's life. When Grenfell Tower went up in flames on June 14th, children were heard screaming for help, and people were seen leaping from the structure as the fire quickly burned through the residential building. A witness said she saw a woman thought to be the baby's mother, gesturing to the crowd below that she was about to drop the baby from the 10th floor of the building. As the fire grew stronger around her, the woman let the child go. Thanks to a combo of agility and luck, a man reportedly managed to catch the baby. The Grenfell Tower Inferno has so far left at least a dozen people dead, with more fatalities expected. More than 70 people have been taken to hospital. The condition of the presumed mother and the rescued baby remains unknown. Tree Trimmer survives chainsaw to the neck. 21-year-old James Valentine is a very lucky man. Not many people can claim to have had a fight with a chainsaw and won. Valentine was trimming branches while hanging from a tree along the Perry Highway in Pennsylvania's Ross Township on Monday when the chainsaw suddenly kicked back and became embedded in his neck. Showing maturity beyond his years, Valentine then coolly switched off the chainsaw and slowly descended from the tree with the help of a colleague, all the time holding the blade steady in his neck to prevent excess bleeding. Once on the ground, emergency crews removed the engine of the chainsaw and loaded Valentine into an ambulance for the trip to Allegheny General Hospital where the blade was removed during surgery. Doctors said Valentine was extremely lucky as the blade missed all his major blood vessels, damaging only muscle and tissue. He's expected to make a full recovery. Good Samaritan jumps off bridge as car almost hits him. A Good Samaritan was forced to jump off a bridge while trying to direct traffic following a hit and run accident early Friday morning. A Pontiac sedan was pushed into the guardrail in a hit and run accident on Interstate 95 while crossing the Savannah River. Two men from a truck stopped to help direct traffic. But a driver heading southbound on the bridge didn't see the men and came close to hitting one of them, forcing one man to jump off the bridge. A fall estimated at between 75 and 100 feet. The man swam to shore and was treated for minor injuries on the riverbank after medics lowered a first aid kit down from the bridge. Police are now looking for a white Chevy Avalanche truck which was involved in the hit and run accident. The driver in the Pontiac sedan said his wife and three-year-old daughter were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. In Mother Russia, wind is very strong. This mother and her young daughter were nearly gone with the wind on a blustery day near the Russian city of Krasnodar. Surveillance video shows the pair enjoying a Saturday afternoon stroll as high winds whip through the trees. With strong gusts blowing, pedestrians walk with their hoods up. Unaware of the imminent danger, the mother and daughter pause for a moment, their attention drawn to something out of the shot. Now, everyone needs a roof over their heads, but this is taking things too far. Grabbing her daughter by the hand, the mother makes her run for it, narrowly avoiding what surely would have been certain death. 
Nature's wrath and shoddy construction work can be a deadly combination, and that was a really close call. But the story has a happy ending, as the mom and her kid were unharmed. Satisfied that the roof is no longer a threat, the mother and child continue on their merry way. They'll probably just put the experience down to a bad case of wind. Man blown out of boots by lightning strike survives. Doctors say getting struck by lightning is a 1 in 700,000 chance and very few would survive. Have you ever thought about your chances of surviving if this ever happened to you? It was a sunny Saturday afternoon in Noonan, south of Atlanta, when Sean O'Connor was raking leaves in his backyard. He didn't notice the sudden change in weather, and by the time he realized, it was too late. He was struck by lightning so forcefully that he tasted blood in his mouth and his leg hairs burn. Meanwhile, his boots, one of which was smoking, were across the driveway. Turns out the lightning strike blew Sean straight out of his boots and zapped his heart so badly that it caused irregular heartbeats. He called his wife and filmed his bleeding tongue and smoking boots to prove what had happened. His wife later rushed him to the hospital where he was treated for an irregular heartbeat and kept for observation overnight. Woman survives fall from burning Moscow apartment. A woman is lucky to be alive after escaping both an apartment blaze and a harrowing 60-foot drop to safety. The fire had been raging through a block of flats in a high-rise Moscow apartment building. Desperate to escape the inferno, one resident climbed out of the window and teetered precariously on the narrow ledge outside. But as the fire worsened, the woman fell backward and plunged eight stories to the ground below. She miraculously survived the fall, but reportedly fell into a coma soon afterwards. Nine other people were reportedly evacuated from the building due to the fire, the cause of which has yet to be determined.